Hello everyone, today a quick one. I'm going to think overall, skip the finished object videos because I don't have time. Um, so I'm going to, in this form, go back to kind of podcast way and show you what I finished and what I have and hopefully it takes less than 15 minutes. Therefore, let's dive in. Uh, just FYI, if you don't know me, my name is Barbara. I'm a Polish girl who lives in Ireland. Uh, that was the f beginning of the podcast when I was doing that a while back. Anyway, so I finished socks that I knitted. I think these go to Lives of Dance. So I finished them, they're dry. They were socks, 60 stitch, that's why we're missing one heart. And I used um, Knit Crate yarn over here, which we thought that it's going to pull, but it didn't. It really worked out pretty amazing, I would say. I still have some leftovers. And here, over here, is Drops Fable. I think all of it is Drops Fable, to be honest. <clears throat> and I was telling you that I'm going to inform how I pick colors. Uh, so basically I check what I have in my stash and then when I'm going through, I'm going through the color, the intensity of this, for instance, um, green. So it is not light, it's darker. So I went with darker colors, not like neons or pa pastel or whatever like that. Therefore, I also had a red over here. I think I knitted knit picks. Uh, so whew, Christmas, socks I think um, no December socks the red one I think I still had some leftovers and I was thinking maybe I'll use that one but um, it was too bright again I was not looking at the color per se but the, the brightness of that color therefore I had to go tone down and the only tone down kind of in the reddish family I had this burgundy so you can see it and like i said i like to put the heels that the beginning of the round is inside when you put the leg in so this will be for right leg this will be for left leg um so the wonky thing uh, in regards to color work socks when you're knitting with them that's going to be staying inside that's kind of my goal so they're one i should grab the sock lockers but <laughs> I don't think I have time. They went for a walk again. If I see them, that'd be it. Okay, let's hope that I'm going to manage. <sighs> I truly wish that I had time to record finished object videos because I love my little... Oh, it is so nice. Oh, you're going to love it. And it did not bleed, to be honest. So I'm hoping that everything will be okay. Although, like I said, um, like I said, um, I hand wash them, but by hand washing means I just put into the bow because they weren't, they weren't worn. So just to soak them nicely, relax. Next one, next object video is another socks, this time for Lisa. And I put a brown heel because, I don't know, I wasn't sure if I put it right. I hope I just put it right. Anyway, and let me show you. So the yarn is from a friend and it was her leftover. I don't, she might have included the label, but obviously, <coughs> gone, gone. So here it is. It's a little bit loose on my sub blocker. So hopefully, Lisa, it'd be perfect for you. Sorry for the light. It's what time is it now? It's just like 20 past three, to be honest. And it's just so gloomy and dark. It's actually raining outside. It has been raining a lot in Ireland, to be honest. Yay! Is it visible? Okay, I see pixels already, so <laughs> not going to be the best. But as you can see, it's a very long one, so <laughs> I put a heart into it. Heart and soul while knitting this, these socks. So I love them so much. 15 rounds, that's that's a love. Uh, in the cuff area, one by one, with tubal eye bind off. That's bigger love and different colors of the, the, <clears throat> the things. And I wave in ends, by the way. This is this was a pure love in regards waving and <laughs> so they're here and I'm classifying them that I can actually pack them um, and send them at some stage. Therefore, it brings me to the last socks that I'm going to knit this time for Sylvia. She won. She picked me picked this yarn to knit socks for her. So check this out. I know the light is not the greatest. So I'm going to them 
and as you can see I have a um, Swift and over there I have a bone winder and I'm just trying to find a spare moment to do it without a total around you know so <laughs> we shall see when that goes so this is a, a stranded dye works yarn fingering weight 75 25 support marine nylon fingering weight candy wrapper that's the name 425 meters 464 yards machine washable but uh -huh. so what i'm going to do i'm going to start the that's my idea to start with the toes and see how where it will get me although maybe once i caked it caked it um I will know do I want to mix or do I want to have it all in one or what's the one <clears throat> but um, Sylvia knows it may take a while <laughs> but it will be very enjoyable process and I cannot wait to you know slowly gradually just knit once the at a time and especially I'm not planning to do any color work or anything like that so it'd be like literally a mindfulness meditation thing that's what i'm thinking of here although i'm not promising at the end of the leg i may like spice things up a little bit knowing me sometimes i like to make things interesting at the end but i'm not promising that so here it is beautiful beautiful and i hope it's going to knit the way i think it's going to knit now so i haven't decided yet in regards no i did i think i have in my mind decided what i'm going to do in regards to, am i going to knit cardigan or a pullover i think i'm going with a cardigan first so i need to pull out the yarn from the attic see what it is maybe i'll show you that before even i start probably i'll do because i'm not sure when i'm going to do it um and knit the cardigan i really really need a cardigan because of the breastfeeding and i don't have a cardigan you would know think that i've been having youtube knitting officially since 2015 <laughs> and i don't have a cardigan well i do have one fingering weight yarn which is too small for me it's a light uh, gray color i want to frog it maybe one day i'm going to do that over here and i have time to do that um or section by section um yeah so i really really need that one but i will go in, i'm going to knit the i forgot again the name of the pattern the one that i showed you last time <clears throat> So, but I have some progress in regards of the um, Swiss dot top. I think it's not dotted. I think it's dot. So it's interesting construction. And if I knit it again, I would definitely maybe did that slightly different. So, so far, so good. I have. <laughs> Can you see it? This. So. I was knitting the back, the back panel, this is the back panel, one and second one. It's a mirror refraction, so that was really nice. I could probably do it in two, one, two in one day, but life with little kids, it wasn't, po it wasn't possible. So I did one in one day, another one in another day. And then I had the front panels, which how to start them by connecting them over here was for me i had to read it a few times luckily i've not had time to even start it so i could read it and then think about it because no way to even do it so when the time came to do it i literally went to the the pattern and just the photo there's no schematics there was no um yeah there's no schematics so i just looked at the photo and i tried to figure out so i'm not going to start in the wrong way or another so that's that there's a chart for that and the pattern has 29 pages don't worry you don't need to use all it. i think first 10 pages are what you really need to know and then the rest is the charts to the front panels and it's two charts per each size so that's why it's so much and just to let you know because i think that's quite important when i purchased the pattern I could not download it to my phone and I haven't checked my PC but I couldn't download it from my phone so the designer sent it to me by email and then I had a problem with scrolling on my phone because it went back to the first page so I eventually figured out that I can convert like on the phone on my iPhone I could um, press the window so it opens up and there is like quick extra options or something like that and you can convert to smaller format and that one I was able to browse through and what I was doing even though I know my phone for my toddler is just like the best thing ever um, but I did not print it I had to go upstairs and print sheets and no time for that so I'm sneaking in and looking in the phone and what I did I used in PDF file you have those highlighters to highlight what I've done um, like just to kind of mark the whatever's written down that I did that so not to you know 
be in the wrong path or something like that, you know. So just recommendation for me so far. I think I had more, but I'll be just telling you here, like if I'm not going to have a finished object video. So, <laughs> so yeah, so just watch. Um, yeah, and I love the yarn so far. And I told you that I, I didn't do the swatch, but actually the, the, the back panel that I used, I soaked it, I hanged it the way I would hang normal things. So I got a 26 by 40, I think, uh, rows. And the pattern tells you that you have to have spot on 26 and 36. If you don't have it, you have to have it. Uh, well, I don't have it. Uh, I don't think anyone would have it. But I got 26 stitches, which is brilliant, with the three millimeter knitting needles. And uh, I got 36 rows. But like I said, I did not really put a weight on that little piece, although little. It's not really little. People sometimes knit a smaller swatches. So this was my swatch. So that's a quite good swatch. But it doesn't give that heaviness and especially this is a cotton this is Egyptian Egyptian cotton um so I presume there will be some weight into it like I said it's light it's 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 oh I love it so I'm waiting for the full garment to feel how heavy that feels but I'm still on the first 50 gram balls and oh I think I will need just 100 grams to be honest and I think for the size that I picked two two three year olds and the recommendation is 200 grams, but I know the designers try to get you extra just in case, you know, something. Um, although my mom said that I should make it slightly longer to so have a little dress of it. I wish to see how that goes. Um, so I think that's that. Hopefully I would not take more than 15 minutes of your time. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you have on your knitting needles. Have you knitted anything with the Egyptian cotton yarn or any cotton yarn? Have you had any experiences? Uh, let me know down below. Um, do you have eyes or any summer tops? Because this is kind of a summer top for my toddler. And um, yeah, quite excited to have it and make it and see how it wears and hope it fits her because I haven't even checked her chest measurements. I'm just hoping this will be it. Okay, uh, I don't want to go, but I need to go. And I hope you enjoyed this one. See you next one, bye. <laughs> okay, I have to add, in case you would want to knit this pattern, even the size of this knitting needles, for at least my size that I picked, will be fine. This is just too much hassle, to be honest, if I could choose. And if I had small, small, like short, um, straight knitting needles, I would knit on them. Um, and as I'm still knitting flat, it's just a bigger section, but I can scrunch, scrunch, I think that's the word, the stitches, and still probably knit on the smaller size. It'd be way easier. And you have to put stitches on hold so just letting you know that's why i have this hanging because they're on hold and this is a working one okay bye <laughs>